Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode. Um, <clears throat> resupplied with wine yesterday at World Market, so uh, you guys are going to get a plug for about four to five weeks. Somebody needs to buy an ad on my site. Um, anyway, so uh, <clears throat> what, I, what I'm starting off with uh, from this batch of wines is the really cool bottle. Um, bought it because, well, it's the bottle's kind of cool and we'll see what it's like. So this is the 2008 Gaetano D'Aquino uh, Pinot Grigio. Um, this is from the uh, Del Venice uh, region of Italy. And it is $8.97 at World Market. Though I got it for $8.09 because they have this Explorer program. Um, I don't know if it's called the Explorer program or the World Explorer program. Signed up for it yesterday. Um, so you get 10, so I got 10% off of my purchase and then, um, you can get deals and stuff like that. So, uh, anyway, 897, the, uh, the Dele Venice, uh, area is, was called an IGT. Um, this is a geographical region and it spans, uh, three regions in Italy. Um, it's not like a DOC or a DOCG. It's kind of, um, it's kind of like the Vin de Pay from France. It's like that step up from a table wine, you know, but it's not quite um, a DOC or in the uh, VDQS for France. So um, that's kind of the quality level of this thing. And they also made the IGT kind of so you can create super Tuscans so that you didn't have to, um, so you don't have to make a wine that's uh, restricted by a DOC. So like in Tuscany, they instead of everything having to be um, Sangiovese, um, they can make, they can blend other grapes and make these these blended wines instead of single varietal wines or wines that have to have a certain percent high percentage of one varietal. All right, so there's your little bit of history. So let's check it out. Kind of citrusy. I seem to have gotten a bit of pepper off of it. Citrusy, I, the pepper was like a fleeting moment of something. It, it just kind of made me think of, um, of, of, not salsa, but I don't want to say jalapeno necessarily, but it was like, like that type of spiciness. Really just kind of makes me think of, of sitting in a Mexican restaurant. And it's like a hint. It's not like it's the, the main thing. Let's check it out. Right off the bat, lots of citrus, um, lemoniness with acid, but then there's like a, a smoothness to it. It's like it's the acid doesn't like overpower, and there's a little bit of smoothness to it, almost silky. Um, Yeah, just like real smooth, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, there's 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 a, there's an acidic quality to it, a um, little bit of citrus, you know, lemony type stuff. Um, I, I mean, I do feel like I I've got, I've, I've kind of bit into a lemon. Um, it's not bad, you know, a nine dollar bottle of wine. It's kind of a funky uh, bottle. Uh, Give it an give it an 84, which I think is about the score I gave the last Gaetano Dacino, which was the 2007. But it wasn't in this funky bottle. Um, this is a what they call a blue Rondovel bottle on the website. Uh, I don't know why it's called Rondovel because it's not really a word that's used other than these guys use it. Uh, the producer is uh, EGT Satona Italia. 
So they're the ones who actually produce the wine. Uh, Gaetano is an importer. And I don't know if I went through this on the last review I did about a month or so ago. Um, <clears throat> Gaetano is an importer out of California. And so they, they, put, their, he, they, he, they put their name on there. Um, and then it's produced by somebody else. It's, you know, it's not uncommon. We've, we've had plenty of other wines on the show that, that have that where the, the wine, the, the, the name on the label isn't the wine maker. They're the people that, you know, somebody else produces the wine, actually grows the wine, and actually uh, does the vinification or the vinif yeah, vinif vinification of the wine. And then they just slap their label on it, and then they're, they're the ones that export or import, however you want to, you know, whichever side of the ocean they're on. <clears throat> So, um, but uh, uh, Gaetano was a uh, was from Sicily. Um, he moved to the United States in uh, 1965. Moved to Florida uh, in '67. He moved to California. Uh, shortly afterwards, he acquired. Uh, he bought a um, Italian food market, and um, you know that became a pretty successful business for him. He ended up selling it off. And then a couple years later, he created the import business. Uh, 1978, he created the import business. Um, so uh, he he created a, you know a, a business that imports a lot of Italian wines. Now this is one of the wines they have. Now on their website, you'll see other bottles very similar to this, but they're grappas and there's another. Uh, there was a Pinot Grigio, but they're like really old vintages. So why I don't have a 2008 on there, I don't know. But um, you know, '84. I, I I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's spectacular. I don't think it's horrible either. You know, we're not. I'm not going to be coming back an hour later and, and giving it a sixty. Um, so there was there's nothing about it that that was um, super intriguing. But you know, it's nice. You chill it a little bit. Um, you could definitely drink this on its own, and um, yeah, you could drink it on its own. I think you chill it a little bit. Uh, it can be nice and refreshing. Uh, some light foods, some light pastas, uh, stuff like that. Um, let's see what else. Sommelier School tomorrow, we've got champagne. And then um, should be able to make an announcement next week. I'm kind of waiting on something to show up. Somebody knows what I'm talking about, though. I don't know if he watches it very often. Anyway, um, I'm waiting for something to show up uh, that's kind of key to an episode. And... Um, was very key to the episode. Uh, but I got lots of wine yesterday. Uh, hopefully have some fun stuff later on this month. Uh, some interesting labels, some intriguing stuff. Uh, World Market really has, you know, a, a selection of wine that, that's different than everybody else. And, and I like different. Um, you know, I, I mean, I can go to the grocery store and, and buy a lot of wine there. And, and the, the problem for me is, like, their, their, their selections are very stagnant. They don't change things up. So after you've had you know, the, the three Pinot Grigios they have at the grocery store. There's, there's, there's no one else. There's none others to have. So, um, anyway, that's it. Click the links. Friend me up. Uh, make sure you hit the library and the marketplace. Those are places where you can buy stuff. Uh, somebody asked me about some A school books. And um, the library, I have every book that I use is in there. So I suggest that if you're looking to find, uh, in, increase your knowledge of wine, uh, get those books, whether you get them from the library links or you go to the bookstore, go to Amazon yourself and get it, doesn't matter, but I kind of make it easy for you, it's all right there. That's going to be it for today, uh, for this week for uh, 13 Thursday Wine TV, uh, tune in tomorrow for Sommelier School. Thanks a lot, thanks for stopping in.